batch of brave soldiers and civilians arrive at medical center. A new batch of brave soldiers and civilians arrive at medical center in Jisr al-Shurur. Hundreds stage a sit-in to express solidarity with besieged villagers of Al-Fu'a and Kifraya in Idlib countryside. And Health Minister Syria achieved self-sufficiency in domestically produ produced medicine. Good afternoon and welcome to our news in English. A military source confirmed that more than 300 terrorists from al-Nusra were killed and hundreds others were injured in the airstrikes by the Syrian Arab army during the battle of breaking the siege of Jisr al-Shagur hospital. Meanwhile, a new batch of Syrian Arab army heroes and civilians who had resorted to Jisr al-Shagur hospital in Idlib countryside have arrived at a medical center in Jisr al-Shagur countryside. In Damascus' southwestern countryside, Syrian Arab army units killed many terrorists, most of them from al-Nusra Front, in a qualitative operation in the environs of Sasa, inflicting heavy casualties on the terrorists and destroying a hideout, killing all terrorists inside and destroying their weapons and ammunition. In Daraas countryside, Syrian Arab army units eliminated many elements of the terrorist organizations. A military source said that a helicopter crashed during takeoff from Kuwait's airport in Aleppo countryside due to sudden technical malfunction, killing all crew members on board. In Damascus countryside, the Syrian Arab army and the Lebanese resistance seized a factory for making explosive devices in Flita terrains west of the southern hill of Sadr al-Bustan, and the engineering units were able to defuse the highly burning explosives. ISIS terrorists have perpetrated a heinous massacre in Palmyra city by killing hundreds of civilians, most of them children, women and elderly. Sources from inside the city have indicated that ISIS terrorists slaughtered at least four hundred people on pretext of collaborating with the Syrian government and not complying to their orders. The source added that scores of the slaughtered are public employees, among them head of nursing department at Palmyra National Hospital and all members of her family on the pretext of working at a state-run establishment. Moreover, the sources have pointed out that ISIS terrorists are preventing the locals from leaving the city and confiscating their properties. A number of official political, religious and popular figures joined hundreds who gathered in Al Rauda Square in Damascus to express their solidarity with the locals of the besieged villages of Al Fu'a and Kifraya in Idlib province. The sit-in took place in front of the headquarters of the International Committee of the Red Cross and was followed by a march to Al Jaha Square. The participants denounced the Arab UN and international silence over the siege imposed by armed terrorist groups on the two villages and the daily terrorist bombardment they are subjected to. They called upon the UN to help lift the siege on the two villages, which threatens the lives of of nearly 40,000 civilians. They also condemned Turkey and Jordan for their support to the terrorists, expressing their adherence to national unity and faith in the ability of the Syrian army to liberate the entire homeland from the terrorists and their backers. Yemeni media sources announced the fall of a Saudi F-16 plane that was participating in shelling Yemeni positions in Bani al-Harith directorate in the capital, Sana'a. Meanwhile, three children were killed and six civilians, including a woman, were injured due to the continuous air raids launched by al Saud over different areas in Yemen. A Yemeni security source said that al Saud regime warplanes launched air raids over reserve force camps in Sana'a. Al-Saud regime air forces also launched air raids over several areas in Ma'rib governorate.
With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Razan, but after a short break. Good afternoon. A business workshop was opened by Prime Minister about situation of technical institutions and ways for developing them in the Technical Institute for, Me for, for Mechanical Engineering in Damascus. The workshop aims at studying the effects of market situation on the institute's specifications, whereas the participants discussed issues concerning the technological education and its relation with the Technological Institute's administration, its financing and the educational plans. Petroleum and Mineral Resources Minister inspected work in gas plants in the eastern countryside of Homs province, saying that gas production at the plants in the Palmyran range is stable at over 10 million cubic meters per day. He added that Haiyan gas plant produces around 3 million cubic meters per day, while Elba plants produces around 2 million at the southern central region plant produces 5 millions. On the other hand, minister met with the workers at the plant and inspected the damage caused by terrorist attacks to the southern central region plant, affirming that state of petroleum products is stable and good and that gas, gasoline and gas oil are available with no shortage in most provinces, adding that if shortages occur, they will be addressed. Minister of Tourism and Minister of Finance held a meeting with the owners of tourist establishments and fast food restaurants to discuss the prices and the ways for getting the consumer spending fee according to Decree No. 11 for the year 2015, in addition to linking the restaurants of electronically with the ministry in order to reduce the violations. Health Minister said that health sector in Syria achieved remarkable developments in health indicators prior to the crisis, particularly in maternal and child health care. Health Minister who had Syria's delegation to the 66th to the 68th session of the World Health Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in Geneva pointed out in a speech that Syria achieved self-sufficiency in domestically produced medicine, citing 70 domestic pharmaceutical far, uh, factories which cover 93 percent of the local market needs. He also indicated that the global war against Syria gravely impacted the health sector. As he said, 33 out of 133 hospitals have become dysfunctional, while 202 people of the health staff were killed and others injured during to the crisis. Clarifying that the unfair economic sanctions imposed on the Syrians have increased their suffering and left a negative impact on the health sector, adding that the Syrian government has spared no effort to meet the citizens' needs against tough odds. Through enhancing cooperation with friendly countries and international organizations such as the WHO, Interior Trade Minister asserted the necessity of not to link the goods prices of the positive interference establishments with Syrian pound exchanging prices, considering it as the safe haven for the limited income people. Minister held a meeting with the Productive Board of the General Establishment for Marketing in Tartus, discussing the need to work for providing the citizens' main demands and to prevent monopoly, calling for taking all necessary measures to provi for providing wide variety of food in the establishment's headquarters for Holy Ramadan. A very famous Syrian city that gathers Syrians coexisted with each other. It's Jaramana city of Damascus. Let's know more about it in the following report. Jaramana is a city in southern Syria, administratively part of the Rif Dimash Governorate in the Ghouta Plain. Its location 10 kilometers southeast of the Syrian capital makes it a bustling town in the greater Damascus metropolitan area. Um, Jaramana is so good area. There is a lot of people live here in Jaramana, and uh, the market is so great, and everything is working so great about everything in Jaramana, the prices and everything, and the people having fun all the time, and going to the, all the restaurants, and everything is so great. Jaramana was visited by the Syrian geographer Yaqut al Hamwi in the early 13th century, and noted it was a district of the Ghouta of Damascus. 
Jaramana is a beautiful, busy Syrian area full of life and people. It has many markets and central mall, so you can find whatever you want when you visit this lively area. And now over to some main currencies exchange rates, according to the Bulletin of the Central Bank of Syria. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.